सो वन हंड्रेड परसेंट सरेंडरिंग आई हेव टू गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल द ग्रेट कोर्ट ऑफ दुर्योधन दुशासन वॉज पुलिंग द सारी ऑफ द्रौपदी वॉट इज दोस समे हेल्थर अद्क इंग्लिश प्लीट्स प्लीट्स पलू इज दिस दिस प्लीट्स सो दुशासन वॉज पुलिंग शी हेल्ड ओ कृष्णा ही वॉज पुलिंग she turned to towards bhishmacharya and asked bhishmacharya will you please help me krishna was looking from dwarka when she has called krishna he turned to help but she has turned towards bhishmacharya then he told okay duga he was playing with his wife then once again she told krishna help then she he wanted to then she turned Dronacharya, will you please help me? Oh, she is asking. He kept quiet. Like this, the drama was going on. And at the end, the last, what is that? The last plate. She has to hold with all strength because that was the last. If Dushyasana pulls it, she becomes naked. very big difficult uh, the most hell on the earth to a lady to be naked in the function he has to hell he has to hold very seriously very strong the last one then she understood this is the very very big philosophy at that juncture she has understood one thing the greatest thing i am asking all these people men sitting here and i am asking him also no no purusha will help me other than purushottam and instead of holding very tight she left both hands and told krishna Immediately, Krishna jumped. My God, if I don't go, she will not believe me. No devotee will believe me. So I have to help her. Utta sir, akshaya vagalendra nu gudugi na vira na araya. Let it becomes the akshaya sir. Akshaya, sorry, my God, sir, not sir. You know that story. So, if you surrender to the God one hundred percent, one hundred percent, then the God will take care of you. That is the devotional path. In the morning. and one of the speakers pa uh, uh, was prakash rao gar okay is talking about draupadi huh? yes draupadi and about uh, surrender and duryodhana krishna this very word god you know or spirituality when has to very cautiously use it it's not that simple if you are a serious seeker if you are a serious seeker of god or spirituality and you have to be slightly cautious and careful things are not that easy it is easy to speak about anything effectively convincingly but difficult to live what to speak you know the world of difference between these two so my advice is you should always be slightly cautious sometimes you go by logic your own logic misleads you you become the victim of your own logic you know your own knowledge misleads your own mis- wisdom misleads when ignorance misleads it is easy to detect 
and rectify yourself. When your own intelligence, your own logic, your own wisdom misleads, very difficult to resist, you know, and to realize, and to put yourself on the right track, you know. One has to be very, very cautious. Actually, the only rich people have serious threat of thieves. Thieves, they don't uh, rob a poor person. Similarly, this Maya illusion robs intelligent people more, which is wise people more, you know. So all wise people, that rich wisdom is like a wealth, you know, the chance of a thief is more there, you know. One has to be very cautious, all intelligent people, wise people. So he was discussing something about surrender beautifully. He gave one of the finest examples from Mahabharata. Right, Draupadi surrendering herself totally, completely, unconditionally to Krishna. Only then Krishna appears and saves her. Fine. Sometimes, strangely, some strange thoughts strike me. If I share with them, you may think that, uh, or I may look like a, a lunatic let loose from nearest mental hospital, you know. For instance, Draupadi in the beginning was looking at Bhishma or Drona, sometimes to cry for Krishna. Sometimes she was to, trying to s s defend herself, save herself unsuccessfully. And when wholeheartedly surrendered herself to Krishna and cried out, Krishna comes to her rescue. Now my doubt and question is, instead of crying for Krishna's help wholeheartedly, had she realized, had she realized the fact that even this Duryodhana's shameful action of disrobing her is also Krishna's act. It is Krishna who made him do that. By himself, what was he? What is he? Duryodhana. Without Krishna's sanction or permission, he cannot move even his finger, you know. Right? Then, how can he attempt to do such an act? Had Draupati realized this and looked at Duryodhana from this perspective and find Krishna in Duryodhana, what would have happened? Strange doubt, you know? General doesn't strike, you know. It's a hypothetical you have to imagine what would have happened. Even Duryodhana is his work. When an accident occurs because of Lord Venkateshwar, when you are saved because of Lord Venkateshwar, both. First is difficult to accept, second is easy to realize. You know. When had she thought that way, maybe Duryodhana himself would have stopped doing like that. We don't know. It's just a guesswork, spiritual guesswork. You know. So by this what I am trying to say is, in field of spirituality, Things are very, very strange, you know. They are not that easy to understand. Everybody reads the Gita, tries to understand God, meditation, spirituality. Right? Look at the very title of the book, beautiful title. Thiliyadu Ninnata, Ninnata, right? 